Hi, David Bold here. I've just come back from a wonderful trip to Portugal. I can't get into much detail yet, but I wanted you to know what we've been up to this past week. Why Portugal? Well, I'm assuming most of you will remember the great Lisbon earthquake of 1755. You're right, but only partially right. Yes, we went to take some pictures for our book, but there was another reason why we traveled to Portugal. It has to do with spiritualism, the third component of the threefold union that is to help usher in the Sunday law. Did you forget about spiritualism? I hope not. Here's the quote from Great Controversy, page 588. The Protestants of the United States will be foremost in stretching their hands across the Gulf to grasp the hand of spiritualism. They will reach over the abyss to clasp hands with the Roman power. And under the influence of this threefold union, this country will follow in the steps of Rome in trampling on the rights of conscience. Great Controversy 588. Please notice what God's prophet predicts. Under the influence of this threefold union, this country will follow in the steps of Rome in trampling on the rights of conscience. As further reading will show, spiritualism is the glue that will hold Protestantism and Catholicism together during the terrible ordeal ahead for God's people. But the quote continues, as spiritualism more closely imitates the nominal Christianity of the day, it has greater power to deceive and ensnare. Satan himself is converted after the modern order of things. He will appear in the character of an angel of light. Through the agency of spiritualism, miracles will be wrought, the sick will be healed, and many undeniable wonders will be performed. And as the spirits will profess faith in the Bible, and manifest respect for the institutions of the church, their work will be accepted as a manifestation of divine power. The line of distinction between professed Christians and the ungodly is now hardly distinguishable. Church members love what the world loves and are ready to join with them, and Satan determines to unite them in one body and thus strengthen his cause by sweeping all into the ranks of spiritualism. Did you get that? It is Satan's purpose to strengthen his cause by sweeping all, not into the ranks of Protestantism or Roman Catholicism, but into the ranks of spiritualism. Let's continue. Papists, who boast of miracles as a certain sign of the true church, will be readily deceived by this wonder-working power. And Protestants, having cast away the shield of truth, will also be deluded. Papists, Protestants, and worldlings will alike accept the form of godliness without the power. And they will see in this union a grand movement for the conversion of the world and the ushering in of the long-expected millennium. Great Controversy 588-589. Let's isolate part of this quote. Papists who boast of miracles as a certain sign of the true church will be readily deceived by this wonder-working power. End quote. Friend, Roman Catholics have souls to be saved too. According to the 2011 census, 81% of the Portuguese profess to be Catholics, even though only about 19% attend Mass and take the sacraments regularly. Well, there is a particular spiritualist miracle that occurred in this country almost 100 years ago that has been commemorated every year since. In a virtual feast for the eyes, Millions of what I assume are mostly Catholics come to Portugal every year to celebrate it. 
Well, we wanted to come too, not just to be part of the festivities, but to capture what we could on camera to round out one of the videos we began a few months ago. I'm referring to defending God's prophet. What took place in Portugal demonstrates more clearly than anything I know the power of spiritualism at work in the Roman Catholic Church. I'll tell you more when we get our footage edited. For now, just know that whatever it costs, while preaching the gospel, we're committed to going to the ends of the earth to bring you the very best video. Today's journey was to Portugal. Stay tuned until next week. Maybe by then we'll finish editing Kim Davis, Roman Catholicism, and the same-sex marriage drama. It's a pretty intense video, and it's taking us a lot of time. May God bless you. Thank you.